Howdy folks, welcome to Medicine Creek. You know how you have a good idea and you're like, yeah, we're going to get this series started. Seasons isn't playing nice. It's been a very wet autumn so far. But we're going to power through. I'll give you a little tour here in the rain. Or maybe a brief tour and then we'll wait till the rain quits. So I'm here on my farm. It's uh, day four, mid-autumn. Everything has just changed a little bit of color, starting to change. But I uh, got settled in. Yeah, we're not we're not staying at a palace. <laughs> uh, I've got this plot of land here, and it had uh, this old trailer on it. it smells like mice, but uh, it mostly keeps the rain off my head. So we'll take a little jaunt here around this corner, and then I'll give you an overall view of what's going on. So right now I've just got the old truck here. Parked under the tree. It's got this little shed, so I've got the Ford in there. It's hiding. So we've got a roof over our heads, we can work on stuff. Keep us a little bit dry. But uh, yeah, it's, it was raining pretty much all day yesterday. Uh, it's been raining so far this morning. It's just rain, rain, rain. So while it's raining, let's take a look at the overall map and I'll show you what I got going on here. Let's zoom all the way out here. So this is this Medicine Creek map. And uh, what's cool is I knew the general area where this was. So I went to Google Maps and I found this. <laughs> and it, uh, it, looks, it looks like this. This is literally the, uh, the fields that are their IRL with a little bit of artistic liberty taken. Uh, he's added some roads just to make it playable. For instance, this stuff here is just a, a farm road. I can't remember. If, I think this bridge may be there, but that's the only bridge for quite a ways because bridges are expensive. But uh, this is over, I think it's just southwest of Galt, Missouri. G-A-L-T. And uh, it's a real place. This highway, I think this highway is there, and I think the railroad is there, but... Anywho, it's, it's really cool to have it uh, based on a real place. I really like the feel of the map. So where are we and what did I buy? I bought some property up here, the northeast corner of the map. Had a pretty good deal on it because there's not a whole lot going on. Pull this up. Actually, what's that? Oh, that's part of the road. Okay. So our house is sitting on the southeast corner of this plot. This is mostly pasture land. There's uh, not been any crops, at least not in, I'd say, the last 20 years here. It's just all pasture. There's a couple nice ponds, so we've got water, which is good. This next door is uh, cow facilities. And then we got a bunch of just woods here. Not, not much going on. We've got a little field over here at the north end, which we actually can't get to through our property. I have to take the county road around. Then I also bought this field across, 25. And it doesn't look that big, but you got to remember this is a 4X map. So that's a pretty good sized field. And this is a lot of grass. A lot of grass. There's a property line right here that's not really visible in the game. So i got to keep that in mind. Next door, we've got this little plot right here. And uh, there's, like I said, there's a cow, cow operation. There's a barn there silo for silage another pond so we got a pretty good spread and then there's three like major not major but there's three towns uh, i think this is galt up here yeah that's galt laredo these are real places but that's not where they are and then chula chula is where the main shop is down south of us so yeah, we had a lot of grass. Um, it's been so wet though. I'm not sure if we're gonna get any grass in or any hay in this fall or not. We'll just have to see how it goes. There's a pretty good demand for alfalfa. But unfortunately, this is just, I don't know if it's a fescue or it's just, it's just field grass. Nothing special going on there. But uh, let me hop in the truck here. So not get quite so wet. There we go. The old Chevy. And we'll take a little run over. Well, actually, let's 
Let's take a little run back here. We've got another shelter down here. And there's a fuel tank. Tank looks like it's in okay shape. But uh, it's empty. So one of the first orders of business is to get some fuel on the farm because, as you can see from the gauge, getting pretty low. So we got a pump there. There is electric run underground down here. So we have power in the shed to power to the pump. Decent little place to store. And you can see a pond off there in the distance. I'll have to see if we got uh, some place to get water stored. I will eventually be running some cows over on the cow barn, but not this year. Too late in the year. I don't want to get a big investment buying them feed. But if we can get a cut, we've got a lot of hay, a lot of silage we can take off this land here. And I mean a lot. Not to mention what's over on the, the cow farm there. A lot of traffic through this little town. Kind of surprised. Must be a big project going on somewhere. There's a lot of cement trucks coming roaring through here. So this is my big cow barn. Eventually have some cows in here. Got a silo and there's Big Red. What's better than one old Chevy truck? Two old Chevy trucks. I bought this used and got a, a good PGA. It's a 28 foot trailer. So big old crew cab dually. This thing's a beast. It's a little bit worn out. Uh, but the motor runs good. So we'll be doing our heavy hauling with that. I've got a tractor bot that I need to go get. Probably won't get to that this episode. It's uh, it's up north. So we'll take Big Red over and get the tractor. But there's not a not a big rush for that. He said I could pick it up anytime. Right now, all we need is the Ford, really, to do hay. Harvest store. So that'll hold um, grass and chaff. Maybe hay? And it turns turns into silage. So that will support our cow operation. Of course, we can throw hay in the hay barn there. But I've got a good solid building here. I need to do a bunch more checking and see what all's working. The electricity is on, so that much works. Uh, I'm not sure about the water storage tank, what kind of shape it's in. Oh, I forgot I left the fans on. Forgot I left the roller on. There's no cows to get doped up, but we got rollers. So yeah, got a nice, nice cow barn here. Plenty of room. So hopefully next year we can get some cows in here. Get that closed back up. So yeah, I'm really liking uh, the feel of this place. A lot of love went into this map, but uh, I am getting soaked to the bone. So I'm going to hop in the truck, head back to the farm and get dry. And when it's a little drier, we're going to head down to the shop where I have bought quite a few implements. We need to start picking up some stuff. So I'm going to wait out this little shower. Hopefully it'll go soon and I'll see you in a bit. Well, folks, it has literally been raining all day. Hasn't let up a bit. So I'm going to head on down to the store. Might just have to load up in the rain. So I've got a uh, mower bot. And I've got a rake bot. I've got a baler bot. And I have a bale trailer. So we need to get all that back to the farm. It's a little bit of a trip down here to the store. Set my cruise where I'm going to end up speeding. Got used to speeding down the interstate. We can't speed here. The old uh, County Mountie will be all over us. Catches me speeding. But uh, I really, I just love this map. I haven't fully explored it yet, but man, it just looks good. All the little details are right. 
road looks good signage is good the drainage dishes alongside the road it's just it just feels right power poles you just nailed it Got culverts under the road where they need to be I think the only real limitation is the uh, kind of the trees and foliage it's not necessarily correct for the region but again you got to use what Giants gives you what's available so it's it's, it's close enough a little deer crossing about a million of those in Missouri Forgot to look and see what highway this is. I don't know if there's any signs on the map itself. Can't, I don't, it might be Highway 139. I'm not sure. I know 139 runs by here. Here's the store. My cousin actually uh, runs some cattle across Highway 139 from this area. So pretty familiar with this part of the world. Uncle used to have a pig farm south of here. I didn't signal. That guy's probably going to get mad. See what I was saying about the concrete trucks? I don't know what they're building, but they got something going on. Whoa, quit looking behind you. <laughs> so I think I'll grab the, uh, the rake here. It's on the end. I don't think any of this stuff has double hitch. That would be nice. Yep. So this is all pretty much new equipment. Spending a pretty penny. But with the truck, I can take uh, everything except the hay fork. So I might pull the the 16 foot trailer down here. No, I don't think it'll fit with the baler. I might just have to drive the tractor down. Oh, that's right. I don't have the. I've got the ball on here. I can't actually pick that up. Or the mower, either one. My bad. All right, I can take the trailer and the baler with the truck. There we go. We'll just. Yeah, that PTO is tied up out of the way. It'll be fine. I'm hoping this baler's going to work. It's, it looks a little small. It's fairly cloudy out. Let's go ahead and get some lights on. Fuel cruise back on, and here we go. So I haven't met all the neighbors yet. Met a, met a couple. Guy up north was really nice. Guy I bought the tractor off of. It's got a it's got a lot of hours on it, but he's kept really good care of it. And the engine was overhauled a few hundred hours ago, so it's in real good shape. It's a case. Oh, and I don't remember the number. Seventy-two fifty, maybe. It's uh, about 250 horsepower, so it's a good, it's a good size tractor. Should be more than enough power for the what I need. And there's a lot of contracts out, but I don't have the equipment to do uh, plowing or stuff like that. Might look into some options there. A little extra money because uh, I burned through quite a bit. We're down to, I mean, we still got a good chunk there in the bank, but start buying farm equipment, 400 grand doesn't go very far. And I would like to buy some cows next year. I'm trying to get used to the lay of the land. I think that's field 26. the one south of my field.
Yeah, the across this draw here is field 25. I need to get some kind of fence or something put in in the pasture, some kind of marker so I know where the uh, property line is. There's field 25. It, uh, it needs some work. It's got a bunch of weeds growing up in it. It's not in just great shape. I'm going to go ahead and put this down here in the shed. Got kind of an unofficial road here. Don't think anybody's worked this land for quite a while. There's no other like paths or anything down through the pasture. So I don't know. And it's not that beat up like it's had cattle on it. I suppose it's just been setting for a while. I know that trailer hasn't been lived in for a, quite some time, except by mice. I'll get that all cleaned out. My backing skills could use a little work. A little bit rusty. That'll do. You know what, Chevy? You're just about out of gas. I need to, uh, I need to call the fuel oil dealer, see if I can get a delivery of fuel out here. I'm going to be sucking fumes here in a minute. We'll let you set, Chevy. I suppose I ought to run down there in the tractor. Get the rest of that stuff. Sure wish it quit raining. Let's check the forecast, shall we? Rain, 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 rain. <laughs> so it's Saturday. Got more rain tomorrow. And then it's supposed to be sunny the rest of the week. So what I'm hoping is the fields will get dried out enough Monday. We can start making hay Tuesday through Friday. That's the tentative plan. But, you know, it's all up to the weather, right? Best laid plans. <laughs> so I think that'll be it for episode one. I'm going to somehow get the rest of the equipment down here. Get it put in the shed. And then, uh, I don't know, we'll, we'll see where we pick up on episode two. We'll either be making hay or there'll be something else going on while it's raining. But uh, pretty excited to play on this map. Hope you'll come along on the journey with me. And we'll see what we can do here in good old Missouri. Thanks for watching and take care.